Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today is September 21st, 2024. Why is that date important? It was exactly one year ago today that we looked at this property. It's also my wedding anniversary. Today's 12 years. Wife's over at the cabin. She's getting it decorated and uh, we're gonna be doing some things later this evening. However, today's project is going to be bush hogging and clearing some area uh, back where the shop's gonna go. So after a year, we're finally getting started on doing something to the land. We've done other little projects around here, and I know I haven't been getting a lot of videos out lately. As you guys know, if you've watched one of my past videos, uh, I've been away in training. So that's gone on for, believe it or not, since November of last year. A lot of training. I won't get into all that, but finished the training as of two days ago, and so now I'll be able to get back to making some videos here in the land. So like I said, today's project is getting this bush hog, but before I take the bush hog in there and end up tearing it up, um, I've got the weed eater. I'm gonna go in there and find areas. I've seen piles of rocks in there. This soil is very rocky, and so I don't wanna take the bush hog in there and start bush hogging stuff down and just tear up the blades. So I'm gonna go in there first with the weed eater. Eventually, this whole area right here is gonna be taken out, most of these trees. A couple of the trees will remain, uh, but this is where the shop's gonna go, where the hangar. So I'll give you a quick drone shot of where I'm standing and the area where the shop's gonna go. Okay, well the string broke, which is not too uncommon. It just got bound up in there. Um, but then this happened. <laughs> I guess I need a new pair of work boots. Uh, I'm gonna be tripping all over myself doing this.
Well, we're continuing with the uh, clearing. <clears throat> I don't know how good uh, the video is going to be today, just because it is one nasty day today. It is uh, overcast, really windy right now, and um, rainy. But it's more of that misty, sprinkly rain. Um, but as you can hear in the background, I've got a friend over who's helping me clear the tree line. We both have limited time, so I'm having to get right on this. So I don't know how much I can film today, just because I want to keep moving and I want to stay out of the rain. So if it starts pouring down, then we're going to have to wrap it up. I got the wood chipper out here. Um, there's still stuff that needs to be done to the wood chipper, but it runs right now and it'll chip and hopefully it won't jam up like when I was trying it the first time. So I'll show you real quickly what it is we're working on. Uh, obviously, um, right now we're over by the area where we're going to be building the hangar. And so there's a tree line here that we got to remove because that's where the hangar is going to go. Fortunately, they're all small trees. There's nothing, you know, no really good oak or, you know, something like that. Anyways, let me show you what we got. All right, so from basically those two trees right there all the way back, we got a dead tree here on the ground. All the way over to there. That's the first tree that's got to come down. And we're going to clear this, this whole fence line right here. Once we get all the trees and brush out of the way, then we're going to uh, come back with the bush hog, bush hog around it. Uh, I got to make sure all the old wire that's from the fence uh, is up first. Otherwise, it will wrap around the bush hog. So, yep, getting ready to start up the wood chipper. And uh, I'm going to start cutting from that end. And he's already started on that end. And we'll um, we'll get this knocked out. Fingers are getting shriveled from the wet gloves. As you can tell, we're getting really wet. Here's what we've been able to accomplish so far. Sorry for the bad video. But we've cleared that out so far. we still got some more to go. Sorry I can't do too much filming. Uh, it's just pouring down rain. And it's not going to look good on camera plus my camera's getting all wet i need to buy an umbrella to go over the camera so you guys can watch testing testing is this working are you working oh my goodness well my camera equipment got really soaked yesterday and i'm hoping that it's working and uh yeah we're back out here again uh working on this fence line i'm going to show you with a drone shot here in just a moment uh what we're doing i've now got another friend out here this is Eric in the background running the chainsaw. We're about to start it up the wood chipper. It's going to get real noisy. So uh, I wanted to let you guys to see a little bit of video of what we're doing here and uh, the progress that we're making on this uh, tree line. So, uh, oh, I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Isaiah. He said I could mention his name. That was the gentleman that was helping me yesterday. 
a uh, good friend, both of them good friends now. I mentioned in my last video that there was a guy who's going to be putting a yurt up uh, up on the mountain in exchange for some work, and that would be Eric. So Eric's already told me that he's totally fine with me mentioning his name on the videos. And so now, back to work.
All right, well, we've got most of that knocked out. We're gonna cut that up into manageable logs, get that pushed over the side. And we're gonna finish going up there, but we're gonna move the wood chipper a little further up and uh, we'll show you a little more in just a moment. All right, day three, 
back out here on this fence line. Still got this down tree. It's a really big tree. I'll try to show you how big it is in just a moment. Isaiah had to go back to work and Eric uh, yesterday kind of overexerted himself and so he needed to get home as well. And today is just me. I'm going to knock out this right here. I'm going to get to work on that and uh, then continue on down the fence line. I don't know if you can tell, but there's actually a step down about a two foot drop off here. Makes it harder for working. Try to give you an idea of the size of this big tree. It was a massive tree, which obviously rotted and then fell over, got blown over by the wind. So yeah, a lot more sawing to do. And of course, everywhere you go and walk, it's all this thorny multi-floral rose or something like that. It just has uh, spikes in it. When you don't have that, you got the green briars with all the spiky stuff in it. So every time you turn around, you're getting stabbed by something or grabbed by something. You got all these trip hazards here like this little scrubby tree, more stickers. So it's uh, not the cleanest, best job site, but we're gonna get it done. Got a lot of trip hazards laying around here. I wanna kinda clean up this stuff, get it out of the way so I can get it in and out, in and out of that area there. And then this is what's left of the tree line. We've already gotten up there. So as far as large trees, we've just got one, two, and there's like, I don't know, like four little trees right over there that are kind of smaller. And then that's it. That's gonna take care of the fence line. We should be getting uh, the power out here shortly within the, within the next week. And uh, that pole's gonna be going somewhere right over here. I don't know exactly where he's gonna put it. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a pretty steep drop off where I'm standing right now to where that kind of ashy looking trees at is probably about a 10 foot difference over a span of maybe 120 feet. So it's a, it's a pretty steep drop off. You can kind of see if I hold it vertical and the trees are vertical that uh, yeah, it, it goes off pretty steep. So this is the area that I'm gonna be smoothing out. I've got, it kind of mounds up it mounds up from here going that way where the wood chipper's at is probably the highest point and then it starts going back down again. So I'm gonna take some of this dirt right here and push that over there with the bulldozer once I get this uh, cleared out. <clears throat> After I get the trees out, then there's, uh, there's wire up inside here, uh, the old fence line, you can see the old posts, but uh, all the old uh, bob wires now down under the ground buried in there but it's uh it's there i've had to dig it out a couple times i'm going to take out what's left of these fence posts as well uh, get the tractor over here just wrap some chains around them, and pull them up and all right that's enough procrastinating let's get to work
That bad. It did exactly what I thought it was going to do. Want to roll that way. Something you can't see from that angle is there's a 
about the thickness of my upper arm tree trunk sticking up here so it's not going to roll over me so i don't have any fear of that uh, that would definitely stop even this mass here i'm just trying not to get my chain pinched in here so once you go start cutting down you got to start coming coming up from the bottom because it's wanting to bend this direction down and i may only make uh one more cut because my bulldozer can move most of this and I'll just push it off the side of the hill here. Yeah, I'll make one more cut. That was interesting. Well, I hope that last cut actually was way off in the corner. Hopefully you got to see it. That whole thing jumped. It'll wake you up. Yeah, that last cut right there, that was about as far as my 20 inch chainsaw could go. So that's 20 inches across there. And these big ones, I'll move those whenever I get the bulldozer out here and uh, take care of that stump. That'll be an interesting video. That'll be another video in the future. Uh, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the wood chipper, pull out some of these uh, branches that can go in the wood chipper, leave the ones that can't uh, here. And I've got a bunch of branches over there and go fail those trees next. So everything's working fine on the chipper. I'm having a little bit of an issue because of the jankiness of uh, how this is set up. With that there, this one's probably okay. And the way that one's set up right there, what happens is this plate ends up getting coming off of there and then there's no leverage, kind of gets like that. And then there's no leverage for moving this uh, actuator in and out. What this does is that reverses the feeder that feeds the branches in. So if it's starting to get bound up, you can push on this bar and it'll go in reverse. There is a neutral there somewhere. Uh, can't really feel anymore because this whole valve needs to be, uh, I think, rebuilt and, uh, and cleaned up. It's working. It's just uh, not working great. I need some new uh, hardware on here to keep it from jumping over this gate. And yeah, so I just got to keep watching it. It's an annoyance right now. I will say, if you got to be out here working, you might as well enjoy the view. Just look at that view. All right, back to work. I'm just enjoying the view. I don't know about you guys, but I find it pretty impressive what these things can do. I mean, some of these large branches, which I'm about to shove through there, I'm amazed at how this can just chew it up and spit it out. I'm also amazed that this large fence line here, it's like sitting right there. It's like, wow, 
I don't know. It's just uh, impressive to me that all there's this, so much air and space inside these trees. All right, let's uh, get this baby cranked up and start feeding her. I think you see why I chose this spot to build my shop. I'm gonna have it slightly at an angle. The back part of the shop, I wanna have that view. I'll cut down a couple more small trees that are just kind of blocking the view, but I want that to be my view from the back of the shop.
So some of you watching this may be wondering, why? Why run all this through the chipper? <clears throat> After all, Danny, you're going to come out here with a bulldozer, push all these logs over the side of the hill, and clean this area up and smooth it out anyways. Why are you wasting your time running all this material through the wood chipper? Well, the answer is, I enjoy being out here. I enjoy this kind of work. It is very therapeutic. As many of you know, who've been watching the channel for a little bit, my job is a little bit stressful in what I do. Um, I enjoy it very much, but there's always uh, an amount of stress that goes into work. When I come here and get to do very simple mundane tasks like this, it's very therapeutic. It helps me to relax my mind. I've got fresh air in my lungs. I've got a beautiful view. I wish, I wish the camera could do justice to it. It's, it's just breathtaking. And <laughs> this is not in any particular order, but I love running the wood chipper. <laughs> if you guys watch this far, you probably like watching that kind of content as well. Uh, I just find it very therapeutic just running the wood chipper. Um, and then finally, the last thing is I wanted access to some wood chips. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put in a garden with raised beds, and uh, I want a lot of wood chips to fill in the bottom of those beds. So uh, the piles that are up there will probably be left. I only have a little pile there and a little pile over here, so that'll probably just get mixed in with the soil. Um, but I wanted the wood chips. Uh, and who knows, maybe after I'm all done, you know, leveling this out, I may want to get the wood chips and sprinkle them on top. I, I don't know. But I just wanted access to wood chips. So those are the reasons why I didn't just shove an entire tree over the side with the bulldozer. I could definitely do it. Um, I just, I just kind of enjoy this. And I think it makes it a little more tidy uh, so the side of the hill isn't, you know, cluttered with a whole bunch of trees that are pushed over. So there you go. That's the reason why. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. I, I'm sure it's gotten quite long. Uh, I was going to go and do some repairs on, on this, uh, uh, which I'm still going to do uh, on, on the chipper, but uh, I'm not going to make it part of this video. It's going to be a continuation video of uh, the wood chipper. I've already got way too much content for the first part of the wood chipper. <laughs> it's a lot of content in this thing. It needs a lot of uh, uh, TLC. It works good, as you could see, but it just, you know, little things are a little bit jinky. Uh, I need to re-grease some things uh, because I've used it now for three days and I want to go through and re-grease all the uh, bearings and stuff. So uh, I want to fix it up just a little bit more. It has a strong fuel smell, so uh, I'm going to buy another carburetor because the guy who I bought it from, he rebuilt the carburetor and obviously he's made it too rich. Uh, and you can buy these carburetors for like 50 bucks. So instead of totally rebuilding this one, uh, I'll have it as a backup. I'll just buy another carburetor, put it on there, and that should take care of it. I want to check the points and clean it. Uh, I want to do some more work to this and get this, um, uh, you know, just running that much better. I, I need to check the hydraulic uh, fluid in it. Um, but yeah, it's doing great and I'm enjoying this. I hope you enjoyed the video and watching us clear up to this point. Uh, I didn't cut down any more trees after cutting that large tree. Just came over here and started clearing what we've already cut. There's still quite a bit more um, to cut up and uh, then a few more trees to come down. So I'm making good progress, but with it just being me, uh, I want to go work on this and I'll come back to this uh, next, next video. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber to the channel it's going to be a lot more content of us developing this airport uh into a you know a private airport not not a big commercial airport i i always worry that people who watch this when they hear the word airport they think of you know chicago hair or some big old thing like that but that's not what this is going to be this is just going to be a personal use uh airport that i'll probably have a few extra hangers at and uh let people just store the airplanes here but this is my home so it's going to be just a small little strip for me and, you know, friends. That's it. 